Good evening and welcome to 7 News at 10. I'm Ayla Farone. Thanks for joining us this evening. Making headlines, people rallying in Greenville today are demanding justice nearly four months after the shooting death of Brianna Taylor in her Louisville home. 7 News' Sophia Radabaugh spoke to protesters in Greenville about the still unresolved case. The momentum has not stopped to bring justice to Brianna Taylor. Dozens are gathered in downtown Greenville chanting the words, say her name. And activists say they'll continue to march until there's a change. Cries to arrest the officers that shot Brianna Taylor have been heard across the country. And Saturday, those demands echoed through downtown Greenville. For what? You know what I'm saying? It made no sense. How do you lay in your bed at home and get shot eight times? And no one, no one's held accountable for it. Community activist Bruce Wilson led the march and said it's not just for Breonna Taylor they're marching for. There have been several women who have lost their life at the hands of law enforcement that do not get the same recognition or, or the same uh, coverage, um, but, but they, they also lost their lives. So we have black women that have been killed and we would need to make sure that we are seeking justice for them also. Protesters stopped at several government buildings, including City Hall, and eventually made their way to the courthouse where they hung a banner with the words, say her name, a message that brings awareness to the black lives taken by police. Wilson said this is just the beginning. That those in power can understand we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna quit. We're not gonna let it go. Activists also told me that their next priority is getting this Confederate monument behind me taken down. They say there is no timeline for the removal, but they're in conversation with city leaders, and those conversations won't stop until it's down. In Greenville, Sophia Radabaugh, 7 News. Now, Wilson also told 7 News that he has postponed all protests concerning that Confederate monument in downtown Greenville. This comes after what he calls a reasonable agreement with the city. However, as Sophia mentioned, if there isn't a plan for the statue to come down soon, he is prepared to...